God bless the Queen. God bless her. Airborne, on me. Got punch on this one. If we succeed, we might be home in time for Christmas. Now pay attention. Operation Market Garden requires airborne forces to secure several key bridges on the road to Arnhem. It's a risky plan, one that cannot withstand even the smallest of failures. Our bridge is located in the town of Nijmegen. We must secure the town, then take the bridge. The Germans would rather destroy the bridge and let it fall to us. So we must find and disable any German explosives equipment. Despite heavy Allied bombing, the enemy continues to operate roving armor units. Clear any and all threats from this sector. You are dropping into territory which is firmly in the grip of the enemy. Watch your backs. Dismiss.
alert. The enemy plans to blow the bridge and has hidden demolition equipment throughout the city. Instructions are to find and sabotage any related apparatus.
sons of bitches. All units hearing this transmission. We have reports of an enemy Tiger tank in the center of Nijmegen. Instructions are to assemble in that area and destroy the threat.
Scott Webb, commanding officer. This is the after-action report for Operation Market Garden, September 17th, 1944. This was our first daytime jump. As a result, we suffered high casualties. Through fierce fighting, our company accomplished all objectives, ultimately securing the Nijmegen Bridge for armored units moving north toward Arnhem. Captain Campana advises me that during the fighting, Private First Class Boyd Travers distinguished himself by coolness under fire. It is for this reason that I promoted Travers from PFC to Corporal. We could use more men like Corporal Travers.